Actress Chloe DeLandis is popular as a voiceover performer on HBO. She's now beginning to get some attention for her musical talents with the release of her new jazz CD. Ready? We're going to record. If you want to stay home tonight, don't call me if you want to stay home tonight. Unlike a lot of singers today where, you know, the technology helps them to sound good and they can't really cut it on their own. You know, Chloe's one of those singers who she can cut it just fine on her own. You don't need all sorts of studio trickery and wizardry and, and all that stuff to make her sound good. I met uh, Zach Ziskin, who's producing my album. I met him through his mom. Connie Zimmett. She was uh, the voice of Coca-Cola. She did voiceovers for years and years and years. And I had taken a voiceover workshop with her and we got to talking and she said, oh, my son is a producer and he won a Grammy. And I was like, well, that's cool. <laughs> Let's talk. She did call Zach and they did talk. So the time, but call me if you want to get Turns out Chloe DeLandis comes from an equally rich performing arts heritage, starting with her mother Mindy, who was a brilliant young ballet dancer in New York. I was a professional ballet dancer, now I'm a performing arts coach. My husband's side of the family, his entire family are musicians. His father is a trumpet player, his brother is a trumpet and drum player, his, a drummer. His other brother was a drummer and guitar player, his mother was a singer. So she's kind of grown up with it. My grandmother actually used to sing with a big band. I wrote a song about it with my mom. <laughs> the lyric is, Nana was a singer and Grandpa played the horn. And I think having those influences combined has really, really helped shape my sound. Uh, where are we? I'll be. I'll be a soft place to fall when there's no one around. Rory's the chord genius, so whenever we're done, like if she and I write lyrics to a song, then we bring it to Rory and he puts chords to it that are so unique and wonderful. An example would be Girl Can Well. They would come up with a melody and I'd sit down and I'd try to put chords down to what I heard. And there was, the melody was going something like this. And then she went ba da da And I couldn't come up with a chord. And it took me a while, and I finally came up with this chord. And I love it to this day. We have this whole thing of CDs is all jazz and jazz standard stuff. So she grew up listening to that. For somebody of her age to be able to sing jazz standards as well as she does is, is actually quite remarkable. Although Chloe could easily make a living doing the voiceovers and hosting that made her a nationally recognized actress. Next up on HBO Family, Carrie Bradshaw, Charlotte York, Samantha Jones, Sex and the City on HBO. One of them kind of sounded like this. Next up on HBO Family, Ratatouille, only on HBO. The focus now is her music. She has an electrifying live stage presence that South Florida audiences can't get enough of. She's out there 
and it's infectious. You know, you feel it when she's on stage. You really do feel it. Put on your new suit! And of course, she's recording her first CD. The working title is Bring Back the Fever. We're combining jazz, pop, soul, getting a little funky, and we're bringing it all in one, and, and I just, I'm, I'm so thrilled to share it with people. We're doing real instruments. We have, you know, upright bass, we have a piano, we have drums, we have horns. <laughs> She has great songs, you know, um, and to me that's the whole package, you know, you can have everything else in the world, but if you don't have great songs, you don't have anything. There are so many directions that she can go. Um, I think the world is her oyster at this point. For more information about Chloe DeLandis, visit ChloeDeLandis.com.